Good morning, Wiggle Bits. Welcome back to Ark Sky Combat 7. Let's get started in the next mission. Oh, we got a cutscene. I will shut when up we so you can hear mainland, this. We found the space elevator support facility. I guess this was the factory where they built the gigantic structure the elevator traveled in. It was this little girl sitting in front of a mural. When the princess saw her, she shuddered like she'd seen a ghost. The girl had a stuffed animal. This was the day after the shit went down at Tyler Island. She walked right up to the princess, took her hand, and led her into the factory. One thing's for sure, they knew each other. The factory had been converted to a production line for erosion drones. It was fully automated and chugging along, making drone after drone after drone. Once they got inside, the princess stopped and just stood there. Another girl was there with a man in a lab coat. He was trying to use his keyboard, but she wouldn't let him. She took a data chip and threw it on the ground. Then she walked over to us and took the gun from the prison guard's holster. She pulled the trigger and destroyed the chip. Later, I found out that the girl with the gun and the one with the stuffed animal were sisters. They were also the granddaughters of Mihai A. Shalaji, the legendary pilot. Gramps used to talk about him. He said Mihai was the top ace from two wars ago. Know any Belkins? Because this guy was a Belkin, and they love to stir shit up. Pitting nations against other nations is a particular favorite of theirs, along with developing hyper-advanced technology. That's right. I'm Belkin, born and raised. My country is gone now. Rather than surrender to its enemy, Belkin detonated seven nuclear weapons on its own soil. My people scattered around the globe, living in the shadows of other countries. We had a new purpose, to breed wars. The theory was that through war, we could achieve our destiny and our revenge. I had just finished inputting Mihai's data when his granddaughter came in. She destroyed the only copy I had of the information I squeezed out of him. The girl loved Mihai. No one knew more than her just how hard I pushed her grandfather for that data, how much I made him sacrifice in the process. I promised his granddaughters that his efforts were not in vain, that it could end this terrible war. But in the end, it only caused more chaos and despair. We were responsible for all this damage, all this tragedy. Now, we were going to pay for it. The erosions, once our allies, would see to that. I had lost the drive to continue my work. Even before I noticed Mihai's granddaughters, I knew with suspicion that one day. I should have stopped them. For all our sakes. Mihai's granddaughter tossed the gun aside. She said if she resorted to killing, she'd just end up like the rest of us. And by us, she met everyone, including the princess. Like me, the princess was afraid to look into the girl's eyes. She knew that by encouraging her people, she kept the war going. Mihai and his granddaughter were victims of it. And now, they too were paying the price. Is this for Belka? Or for Arugia? My grandfather had only one wish to continue soaring through the endless skies. That was the only place where he felt alive. But I don't even have a country to call home, let alone the sky. The Black Forest, the lake, they are no longer mine. Even though those lands were once cherished by my late mother, we have to learn to put that sense of nostalgia behind us and behave like mature adults. 
homeland. She's right. I feel so far away now. The woman with the rifle approached me. She was focused on more pressing issues. I checked the computer. All of the data on the legendary ace had already been installed. No. I pulled it before it was completed. However, there are two aircraft that are already scheduled to be manufactured based on that data. We must destroy the factory. This isn't the only one. There are more facilities just like it. And the two planes containing the data will be manufactured at one of those facilities. So, this place runs on solar power that the space elevator generates, right? How about the others? We can destroy the space elevator and cut the power to them. First things first, let's take this one out. I'll show you which locations to target. I stood there, thinking about that mural by the factory's entrance. Harling commissioned it to be painted. I realized that in the background, behind the dancing figures, the artist had painted several space elevators. I understand now. The space elevator wasn't designed to exploit Erugia after all. Good. And afterwards, we'll bring down the space elevator itself. No matter why it was built, right now, it's the root of this chaos. I wonder... Yes? I wonder... which path you would choose... when looking at Harling's mirror. Light home, lighthouse, light bleh bleh. Mm -hmm. Let's get the briefing started. We've done enough air up. Just let us go home. There's no path for us to get home. Whatever direction you fly, you'll be right into a hail of enemy fire. <laughs> Earlier, we received a communication via the partially restored general network. Here is what it contains. Apparently, the erosion radicals have gathered around the space hole. As it's a source of energy, give the war mongols powerful energy source, and you give them the luxury to keep on fighting. In response to this, people from both Osea and Erujia have joined forces, and will take down the final arsenal bird in a saturation attack from the air from the sea. Once that's achieved, they'll take the space elevator from the aggressors. Has the source been verified? It could be fake. I hear you. Take a look at what's written at the end. Hey, dumbass. If you want to bring the world back from the brink, go to the light and see the future. Dumbass? Sounds familiar. It certainly does. It's from those guys we met in Tyler Island. The 444 squad. It's a message to all those looking to end the war. But I also think it's a message for Trick. Guess we'll do what it says. Okay. Well then, I'm thinking we go roast that damn bird. Looks like we're all on the same page. It's time to end this war. Time to fly, guys. Let's go get that arsenal. So this isn't the last mission. I think there's one bonus one. Alright. Oh, what do I have? Okay. Do I have enough for... I do. We will buy. Yes, yes, yes. We will buy good bird. Yes, yes, yes. It is... It is... The American made F-16 fighter jet. Wait, what is this? Yes. F oh, F-35. I would like actual good missiles. Yes, like air to air. I would like these air-to-air uh, -air missiles for the final mission. And I now am at if stuff. Do I have access to the... Yeah, 
Yes, I do. Alright, start mission. Uh, Alright, here's my new birdie. Uh, what's this? Interesting. I think I'll go to with the air to air though. Parts. Uh, let's see. Law. Going to be a lot of air combat. I do, I think I want survivability. Additional rockets. Increases firepower. Increases. Blah, 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 blah. Bomb lock on radius. Additional bombs. 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 Increases special weapon. Increases special weapon missile lock on speed. I will. No. It decreases special missile reload speed. Let's do that. Increases special missile power. One of those. Range. Lock on range. No, I only have access to one more. Let's do that. All right, start the mission. Here we go. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. All right, Lighthouse, mission 19. I think we still have a bonus one that came with the DLC after. We need That's help. Don't let him damage more. Show him what the erosion. Tell him what fighter pilots are made of. All right, here we go. The LRSSG. Looks like our luck has turned. LRSSG, you will secure air superiority. There are Russian aircraft in the coalition, so they have been ID'd as friendly via the data link. Just confirmed it. The Russian government aircraft, including drones, will show up as hostiles. You two aces, I think it is time to show us what you've got. We don't have two anymore. Guess nobody told them. That's quite true, Count. It's not just two. Why has been trained to squad well? Everyone still in it as an ace. He'd be proud of you all. All right. You have gathered here, regardless of your country. This is headquarters of the Ocean Army Southern Command. Wait, you can forget that designation. We are a coalition all right. formed exclusively for the sole purpose of taking down the Arsenal Bird. Wait until we're ready to strike the Arsenal Bird in unison. Roger. Roger. Speaking on an open channel. The enemy can hear everything he's saying. There's no other choice. The Illusion aircraft are in the coalition as well. This is Third Squadron and Rigel Squadron of the Illusion Air Force. We're here on our own. Broadcaster, we're entering your airspace. This is Sun 2. Public and Boss Ledger are also looking to run There's only one squadron, though. This is Mr. X's crew. Count, he's up. Engagement is forbidden. Don't worry, I know. We need everyone we can call upon. Even if they were flying with the guy that killed Wiseman. Some of their squadrons are in weird formations. They have bad equipment. All this just to keep a war going. Pick up the gun. Pulling the trigger is on path to a new future. This is the way. It's up to us to defend our nation. We're just a man who's here in the military or not. Oh! I'm having fun! These. Another one down. I'm speaking over both terrestrial broadcasting and video transmission networks. It's not important who I know who we are. First, our goals. Destroy the space elevator. Second, we want power to the drone factory cut in order to put a stop to all the war and chaos. 
Got a few there. Hit. Oh, the comms are going crazy. Lots of good targets. Got it. Missiles out. Missiles launched from the Arsenal Bird. We can get some Gentiles. All aircraft stay clear of the blast area. Ten seconds to impact. Five. Four. Oh God. Three. Two. And. How many got caught in that explosion? Broadcaster, do we have more incoming? Unknown. Proceed with caution. We can't switch off the security system, but we've got this. If what he said is true, this will give us at least 10 seconds. Thank you. 
That's everything. We just do we just wait? Helios launched from the arsenal bird. Five seconds. Everyone get out. Three, two, impact now. You caught that. It's all over. Arriving in ten seconds. Do I? Seconds <laughs> I destroyed all the birds, and I. <laughs> I destroyed everything, and now there's no. And <laughs> I think I just wait for the arsenal bird. Again, the altitude advantage. Oh, there's one guy. Not like he's gonna be a problem. Inform the coalition units. We're nearing zero hour. Ten seconds until the united attack on the arsenal bird. There it is. Five, four, Everybody, three, give this two, attack everything one. you've got. Open fire!
frick is she doing? What the hell is he doing? Crazy princess. Alright, let's do this! Woo! Just what kind of magic did you work there, you asshole? It wasn't magic, it was a scam. That was our chance. Do it, trigger. Switch to the backup power supply. That means the beam supply has been cut off. No. Ah, gotta take evasive action. What's next? We have to...
There's another one. Blowing cap and flares. Where are those missiles coming from? Got it. Interesting cutscene there. Fifteen hundred meters to carrier. Bank right. Thank God for landing hooks. I'm going to call this episode. Don't tune in for the last episode. I love every single one of you. I will see you all in the final episode.